I'm driving through California Heartland towards Point Magoo for some surf fishing action. My work has implemented early Fridays for summer and I'm taking full advantage. Today, the laptop is closed, my rod and reel is in hand, and my only time constraint is getting home before my wife does for dinner. All right, so I'm just kind of driving south down the coast right now, figuring out exactly where I want to fish. Um, I have a seven foot pole with me, uh, medium action, so I'm not casting super far. Um, but as I look at the water, I mean, the, the surf, the surf is pounding right now and we're on the upswing for, uh, high tide. Um, I, I think we're about the tide's coming in. It has another two feet to come, um, over the next two hours. So I'm, I'm not going to see, uh, an outbound tide, uh, for, for my session today, I guess four hours actually. So, you know, I, I think the plan here is, I think I have a spot that I, I kind of like. It's partially sandy, partially rocky. Um, maybe cast into the surf and see if I can pull out some beans or some surf perch or something. I've been skunked for the last, you know, couple trips. So we'll give it a shot. So the surf's not getting too crazy here, but there is a guy being called in by a lifeguard. Find me. Uh, ooh, the surf is pretty big still. But it's definitely coming in. So I'm gonna try to fish from that rock right there. And hopefully everything will be cool. Uh, chest cam today. There we go. All right, so I see some salad out there. Uh, you can't really tell because everything is all murk. But I'm going to start with this uh, spoon, I guess it would be. It's one of the uh, dollar lures that I got from years ago. Ooh, water's coming in. I might have to get on a higher rock at some point. So I'm like 100% sure that I just saw something stick out of the water over there. And I want to say it was a dark fin and a single fin. And it's like the sole reason that I don't bring all of my diving gear with me. Too much sharky stuff this week. Okay. Are they? There's two. Let me see if we get higher. Let's try. Ooh. 
I really hope that I left some binoculars in here. Man, don't think I did. Dang. Well, oh, they're dolphins. One, two. Oh, it's a whole pod. It's like six. Oh, this old man. Howdy. You can't see the dolphins? Right here. I don't want you guys to miss it. I know you guys are looking for it. Oh yeah, there's a full pod right here. Oh yeah, they're right here, see them? There's like six. Sorry to disturb you. I just, I... <laughs> yeah, of course. That is cool. All right, so the type of fishing that I'm trying to do here isn't really working out with this, uh, this spin lure, so I am going to rig up a trusty gulp sandworm and see if that provides any better luck. I feel like the way I've set up this backpack is like a bag of tricks. I don't want to carry too much. But I also don't want to be undergunned. All right, give that a shot. So the uh, couple that I alerted to the dolphins out here were nice enough to give me one of their homegrown peaches. That's a super nice thing of them to do. Not big. Oh, here we go, surf perch. Oh, that's decent. Go. Oh, he's like, that uh, hooks deep too. All right, I didn't think this one through. I got a clam, no handed, up the rocks. Nice. Dude. All right. How am I going to billy goat the right way here? No hands. Oh yeah, it's a barred surf perch. It's cool looking, right? 
All right, how to write a fish. What we're looking for is right behind the eyes will be the brain cavity. So I will look for it. There it goes, limp. One, two, two. All right, it's about five o'clock now. Wife gets up at seven, so I'm gonna fish for another half an hour and then head straight back. I think this guy behind me is like crushing it. He got here and hooked the fish in like 20 minutes. Got another one on. Woo. Feels small. Oh yeah, tiny guy. This one back. Take a quick snap. The log book. Break my line, dude. Then right hook angle. Don't head shake on me, so I can let you go. Wind. Tide waves come in. All right, go. There we go. Clean release. As long as he makes it out of the rocks, which he should have. 